hello from Ukraine and today is the day when I'm leaving my beloved country and I'm very sad about it and today I want to tell you why I decided to leave Ukraine for a long time and how I'm gonna do this because it's a very difficult procedure and very difficult trip and I'll take you with me through all my journey escaping Ukraine because I have to tell you the situation right now is not very positive and right now I'm in Lviv near the railway station yeah, you hear the sounds of railway station and near the bus so for now I'm gonna find my bus to Katowice it's gonna take like 20 hours or something and from Katowice I will fly to Germany so this is the plan of the trip and yeah, I will take you with me and I'll share my thoughts and what I felt being three months in Ukraine, what happened and yeah, all the pros, pros and cons or, or, or how do you say it? I found my bus, it's arriving in a few minutes and I'm very very exhausted already because I was going to Lviv from Chernivtsi like six hours and now I'm just mentally preparing myself for a very long road and yeah it was three months in Ukraine if you haven't checked my other Ukrainian videos check it out there on the channel and it was such an adventure this time this visit of Ukraine I visit places I never been to Odessa, Kharkiv, Zaporizhia, Irpin, Bucha, many places and yeah now this road this Ukrainian timeline is over and this giant bus very comfortable will take me to Poland we are leaving about to cross the border so I guess I'll start my story why I decided to leave Ukraine even though I was pretty happy here and it was a good time but the time is uh, pretty rough right now and also because of explosions are much more intense that's the first thing uh, also the blackouts it's very hard to work to operate to make some plans when anytime <laughs> you can get stuck um, on the 24th floor anytime uh, you have no stability and it makes yeah lots of complicated situations and also i have much more plans and ideas that i can realize abroad i want to travel i want to uh, improve my vlog i want to show you more places even though i think ukraine is a very interesting country overall uh, very unique special and right now i felt this uh, desire to show you the reality of what's going on in my country I'm very happy for such a feedback from the world and yeah right now I'm in a <laughs> near the border like walking with a camera very undercover uh, so yeah uh, it is the reasons why I'm leaving Ukraine right now I hope 
hope you're gonna stay tuned about my other adventures because the country on my list our list are very very interesting i'm so excited about it right now we are already like for ages it seems like we're here for ages uh, on the border uh, waiting for a few hours uh, yeah poland border is the most complicated they check everything and yeah after that i'll go to the katowice airport uh, from where i'll fly to germany so yeah travel in ukraine reality and we already passed the border it was very tough like one of the toughest uh, borders of uh, all my all my life probably uh, we spent like waiting two hours now it's our first stop for toilet for quick coffee uh, yeah and after this we will go directly to the Krakow first and then Katowice and yeah, all the time passing borders in Ukraine is like a challenge. Finally, I've got my coffee, <laughs> so I feel like a human again. And yeah, very tired. Uh, already miss Ukraine. Already want to go back and sleep in my bed. But yeah, the situation is not going anywhere good, so here we are. just arrived to the Katowice airport I'm so fried and yeah now I have to wait like four hours till my gate is open and the hardest part probably of this road is this bag because all my life is in this bag and uh, yeah, I'm flying with Wizz Air, so you probably know that what is Wizz Air. <laughs> and I have only this bag carrying it on me all the time. And another reason why I'm leaving Ukraine is the recent uh, actions, the recent bunch of uh, bad news that was happening and happening uh, and the huge amount of civilians died in a recent time more than probably ever before but the beginning of the war so yeah I, I I'm not telling I'm scared or something but reasonably it's not that safe to stay in Ukraine but I don't say that I will not come back um, unless I will and I'm planning to be not for so long on this trip um, and if the situation will be stable in a month I will come back because again I love my country with all my heart I want to build my life mostly in Ukraine at least I want to make a base in Ukraine and my family is still there in the most safe city Chernivtsi I showed you right now I think I'll take some uh, coffee maybe some food and just try to sleep for for a few hours and after that the plane I'll show you and it's almost uh, 24 hours road already so yeah likely the weather is good because if it's winter it's uh, it's unbearable I remember when I was going somewhere in winter I was freezing <laughs> I was dying literally on the road 
but right now it's fine, it's chill. I have Denny's uh, sweater here. Uh, so yeah, where, where is the entrance? I'm, I'm lost. I just arrived in the airport and <laughs> already lost. Whew. Now I'm very hungry. We didn't stop a lot during all the bus road like only once and it was not even a gas station it was a toilet toilet stop so yeah uh, never been to Katowice <laughs> maybe I should go to the city write it in the comments if it's worth it and if I'm missing a lot It's uh, 6 a.m. and the waiting time is gone. I've waited for like, I don't know, two, three, four hours. I was sleeping on a bunch. And right now we are ready to board to Dortmund. Dortmund. <laughs> and after Dortmund, Danny will pick me up and drive me to the Düsseldorf. So the road is more than 24 hours, uh, but I would say that it's survivable. So the plane was just landing and I got scared for a moment because in Ukraine such sound, it means something bad's gonna happen and something's gonna land. So I already forgot how it, how does it feel to see the plane in the sky like literally in, in summer no not a single plane and here very weird nostalgic feeling Whew. all right we've got here lovely Vizier my favorite airlines but yeah last time I flight from Sri Lanka to uh, Romania and then went to Ukraine so I'm never nervous but still still very interesting interesting experience documenting that I arrived and nobody is here to <laughs> then make a big complaint to Danny because he shouldn't be here I have no data I don't know why it's not working so um, alone in the airport it looks like it's raining I want to go back to my sunny Ukraine <laughs> But yeah, and then it's one of the reasons why I left Ukraine because uh, he's, uh, he left before and yeah, I missed him. So that's why right now I'm in Germany and I'll keep you updated about my plans overall. I, I don't know why this airport looks so um, dark and depressing but <laughs> somehow it does so yeah it was my full long crazy long journey to Germany from Ukraine escaping Ukraine <laughs> at this point and I already told you why I'm leaving and Still, I wanna come back very soon after showing you some more of the world. So don't forget to support Ukraine, don't forget to follow me here and on Instagram also. And if you feel like supporting my channel, because you know, I just started and right now I'm gonna travel a lot and it's crazy expensive, lots of expenses. I have huge anxieties around it and yeah 
also I just realized that no more curfew and yeah interesting interesting so you can do it with a paypal i will leave it in a caption and see you in my next videos very fucking danny <laughs> it's not him it's not him i saw a guy with the rose in the airport it was so sweet i took a picture of him and yeah i'll make danny feel very bad today so yeah <laughs> So guys, thank you one more time for watching this video. It was my full road from Ukraine to Germany. And I want to tell you some personal things. Uh, first of all, I never expect to YouTube become so serious for me. I started it as a hobby and right now I have a plan to make it like a decent side work, side job. Because last couple of years they were super unstable for me and my area where I work is super unstable right now. So I see some potential in it and that's why also I'm going from Ukraine. I want to make it bigger, I want to make it in a more professional way, I want to have a decent content and be more like worldwide. I know it's very ambitious, but I think one day I can do it. And yeah, I know in the beginning it's gonna be hard and even now with a good amount of views YouTube is barely covering my daily expenses, but with your help and support I'm sure I can do it because I felt lots of support during my Ukraine series and of course after this trip, after showing you the world, I will come back to Ukraine to show you more of reality of Ukraine. I really hope that situation to this time will be better. So thank you guys again for watching all these videos and if you feel like support me in my growth development journey. Uh, recently I set up a Patreon and you can directly sign up and yeah, I don't know for sure how it works for now, but I will figure it out and I'll post uh, something I don't post here and yeah, it will be very... I will appreciate it a lot, it will be very helpful for me right now and of course thank you for watching all these videos, it's already a big input in supporting Ukraine in my YouTube channel and yeah, without you, without all your sweet comments, about, without all these likes, uh, I probably wouldn't be so motivated to do it. So thank you, all the links I will leave in the caption and see you in my next adventure.